Hey Earthlings, welcome back to Cloud Shadow TV. We've finally made it to the final part of the ranking of the 2007 Warp Tour lineup. Thanks for sticking around this long. If you have, if you're just starting, you can go back and watch parts one, two, and three if you would like. If you just want to see the end, then welcome for the first time. I'm Jesse. I do shows about aliens a lot, but uh, we're switching it up today and talking about Warp Tour. I had a lot of fun making this series. If you enjoyed watching it, let me know. I'm super open to making more content like this. Um, if you want to comment your favorite band that I talked about in this video, go ahead and write the time code in a comment. I just appreciate you guys watching, coming along on this um, intense journey with me. We heard a lot of new music, a lot of old music. It was all old music, but some of it was new to me. Let me know if, you, if I showed you something, you're like, oh, I gotta check that out. Let's just get to it. We're here. We're finally here. So let me shut up. Next up we have Allison. I'm intrigued by this picture. I feel like it looks like, I don't know, like if the Try Guys had a band back in the day. Not in English. Okay, I like it and they're all cute. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Um, but yeah, well, I'm into it. Lucky Sage. Wish I knew what they were saying, but that's my fault for not knowing the language. Um, next up we have The Bathroom Murders. What a name. Feel weird typing this one in. Alright, it's not great, but I love a good man singer, woman singer duo thing for that. Oh, no, they're Ernie Ball. They are at the Ernie Ball. Can't take away from the other people, you know, <laughs> what they've earned. Okay, I feel like I need to like look this up to double check, but I there is like one POS song that was on the music video stations when those were a thing all the freaking time. I don't think, I think this was another one I wasn't into at the time, but let's check them out. Alright, yeah, that's not who I thought it was at all. Um, if this is who was actually on Warped Tour, dope, but random. Uh, shout out P.O.S. <laughs> uh, like, at Warp Tour, I wouldn't have sought out to go see him, but he seems cool. So, for that, we'll put him on the Hurley.com stage. Okay. Total Chaos. Another one I gotta look up. Like I've said, I'm not the audience, but it's cool. You know? So, I'm, I'm putting him in the Hurley.com stage. Um... <laughs> I'm getting tired. We're almost at three hours. Um, Supernova. This again gives me all star vibes. Don't know who they are unless it's the band from Xenon. I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, Alright, they have a song called Math. I was able to find. <laughs> This is uh, beautiful at what it wants to be, but I'm not the audience. So we're going to Ernie Ball. Okay, next up, the toasters. I am a, I think this is gonna be Ska, but I don't know. I knew it. Was Ska just like really big this year of 2007? Like. What was going on? I, I know there was always a little Scott Warp Tour, but I feel like this is a lot. Or maybe I just didn't notice because, like, it wasn't my part of the show. All right, now we're on to Between the Trees, which reminds me of Between Two Ferns. But, uh, to be honest, 
I feel like I maybe knew who they were, but I don't remember. So we're going to play this song from 13 years ago called The Way She Feels. Oh, no. Nothing good can come of this. She opens it, there's nothing. I'm sorry, she just opened a ring box and instead of a ring, it had a razor blade. For that alone, I don't care how I feel about this song. That is going into the Kevin Says stage. I cannot tell you how cringy that was to just see with my own eyes. Next. All right, um, the dead, the, the, the deer and departed. Let's check them out. All right, it's like not, it's just not, I'm not the audience. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm curious of the video because it's in Venice and I kind of want to watch it, but like, nah. Okay. The Blacklist Royals, I feel like they predicted Harry and Meghan. I'm, I'm not the audience. I'm not. It's just not. I'm not. I'm not the audience. I'm not going to put it at the Kevin Says level, but no, not for me. All right. <laughs> 303. No. Objectively. Is it good music? No. In my nostalgic heart, though. Drop the line. You know what that means. It's got to go to the Hurley stage. And I did see 303 at Warped Tour. It's the only time I ever saw them. It's fun. They're fun. Bombay Doors. Don't know them. Nope. 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 Hot Topic Kevin says. Now here we go. This is Escape the Fate. It's not even on there and I know that. Okay, so I don't know all the words, but obviously it was a moment in my life that I... I, I, I they were there for me, okay? <laughs> um, oh no. I don't know if I can read this one. The something social. The box social. We gotta look it up. Um, they seem to only have live videos. It's the best live thing I've had so far. So for that, I will give it Ernie Ball, but eh, meh, whatever. Okay, the Chop Tops, once again, don't know them. <coughs> eh, whatever, you know, it's just whatever. So for that reason, Kevin says, I feel like they probably really were on the Kevin says side because they don't have that much out there. Uh. The automatic. Yeah, I like it. The thing is, he's cute to me now. I don't know if he would have been cute to me then. <laughs> Not that that is what it's about. But, you know, I was 14. Um, but I'm putting them on the lucky stage. They're, they're pretty good. So we have Crash Romeo. This is one that, like, yeah, I feel like I heard of, but I don't know who they are. They're fun, they're cool, they're pop punk. Um, I'll put them on Lucky. Although, it's sort of not very memorable to me from what I, that little snippet I got. <sighs> I'll put them on Hurley.com. I'm gonna do it, I'm doing it. They're Hurley.com now. We got the Fabulous Rudies. Again, don't know who they are. She's cute, like her voice. 
Um, I really don't know if that's the band that played at Warped Tour in 2007. So I'll put them in the Hurley.com stage because... No, I'm going to put them in Ernie Ball well, because I don't even really know if that's that the band. Who is this? The Fool. Alright, this is one where um, unfortunately I can't find them, so taking them off the list in the final hours. Um, who is this? Hot Rod Circuit. This is another one that like I know I should know, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, this is a band I could have gotten into if I would have been at Warp Tour in 2007. Um, I'll put them on the lucky tier. Alrighty, next up we have The Dangerous Summer. Let's look that band up. This is another band where it's like I feel like I might know them when I hear it, but I don't remember at this point. Oh, they still make music. Um, okay, so from 13 years ago, though, they had the song, Where I Want to Be. He's got a nice voice. I get it. I get why they're still making music. Um, for me, maybe they got better over the years, but that song from the, around the time puts them at the Hurley.com stage to me. For me, but I, I give it to them for still being around. A lot of these bands do not make music anymore, so that's awesome. Um, this next band is called The Graduate. Let's see. I remember like seeing them at Warped Tour things other years, but not like actually seeing the band, like seeing them on the uh, lineup list. Yeah, this again is like very of the time. I think I would have liked it at the time, but now it's a little bit boring to me. So I'm gonna put them in Hurley.com stage. Um, next we have Deals Gone Bad. <laughs> like I'm intrigued by Ska, but I don't think I like it. <laughs> uh, so. Ernie Ball. What is this? Dingus. What a lovely album cover. I don't know them, so let's check them out. For making you feel anything. Yeah. I like it, actually. I think they didn't go farther because their name is dumb. <laughs> Guys, we should have thought that through. Um, Lucky Stage. Yeah, Lucky Sage. Someone coming through at the end. All right, uh, Ill Scarlet. I've never heard of this. Let's see. I kind of like it. I really wish I would have gone to Port Tour in 2007. They are Lucky Sage for me. What do we have here? My American Heart. This is another one of those ones. I know I should know, but I don't know. So here we are. Okay, he just looks like a boy I would have loved at that age, but I did not know who he was. All right, it's pretty good. I I think I have to make it lucky. I think it's lucky stage. Lucky's getting almost full. Well, let's see what happens. Um, we're getting very close to the end. All right, the Dolly Rot's another one I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I fuck with it. I, I I like them. They're cool. I would check them out now. The Dolly Rots. Um, lucky Stage, for sure. All right. Who is this? Chaos. K-Os. 
He's cool. I'm into it. Uh, lucky stage. All right. Downtown Brown. Don't know them. Keep on the I do not like that. Um, I, it's not for me, but I don't like it. So it is going in, in the Kevin Says stage. Girl in a Coma. What a name. We gotta check them out because I've never heard of that. I do, I do, I do, I do. I Actually, that's very emotional. Uh, her voice is very emotional. I don't know if I would have been into it in 2007, but now I am. So, the lucky stage is filling up. Who is this? Play Radio Play! Okay, they have a... Uh, I There were songs that I just loved by them. Can I... Can I pull it out of my, my brain? Um, there's like something about like just driving to California without a credit card. I would have wanted to see them. I gotta look it up now. Maddie, don't leave. Okay, we're just gonna do a moment. This is the first one we've had to like look up for my enjoyment. I got a credit card and a reliable car. Let's try. To Pennsylvania. Maddie, dear, can we just disappear and take our chances on teenagers' romances? Alright, I gotta finish the video. But, uh, yeah, they are going into the Hurley stage for me. You gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do, people. Um, Glass Entropy. Don't know this one. And their name makes me slightly uncomfortable. Yeah, this is bordering on that point, the point BS that's just not for me. And because we're towards the end and I just am not feeling as nice. Hot Topic, Kevin says, stage for you. And your name makes me uncomfortable. So that's what it is. Uh, the Stompers or Mass Appeal? I don't remember which one is the name of the band. I think it's, oh no, it's the Stompers thing. Rub, Hub City Stompers, I remember that now. Cause I was like, is this a step team? <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna say no. Over, I'm over Ska. I'm over it. I'm not gonna Kevin says it cause I barely listen to it, but it's going into the Ernie Ball stage. New Year's Day. Don't know who they are, so we have to look it up. Yeah, I'm a little mad I didn't know who they were. They seem cool. And it's a girl singer with like the main, but then also a boy singer. I like that. Um, they're going on the lucky stage for me. All right, who's this? Go Crash Radio. I don't know them. It's cute, but it is like, ugh, I would have liked it at the time, but it, it, it's kind of boring. So, Hurley.com. Alrighty, what's this? Revolution Mother. We got to check them out too. Not for me. Not for me. Kevin says. That is where, where you go. Um, the High Court. Let's check them out. This circus thing was so in it. Like, this was its moment. Um, I don't like that guy's voice. To me, it's Kevin Sesworthy. It, the, the general vibe of the band was something I would have liked, but 
Mm -mm. Oh, pierce the veil. Okay, so this one was a fave, a favey band. Um, I can name songs. Yeah, boy and dollface. Um, but to be real with you, my brain is dead. We're at the very end here. I can't sing a song of theirs off the top of my head, but I do love them, and I'm putting them on the Harley stage. Also, I can't hit those high notes. Let's be real. And I know there's so many more songs, and you're probably like, Jesse, name more songs than that one. It's like the most obvious one. But I'm too tired. I'm on the third and a half hour. Yeah, oh, wow. we're, we're going into four. All right. Larry, we're almost done, so let's finish it. <laughs> Larry and the Flash. Larry and his flask. We got this one from 11 years ago. Um, call it what you will. What, that's what it's called. Everything in chaos now, someone's screaming, tell me how can we spend our money, my friend? I tell okay, it's ska, but I somehow hate it less. So we're going with Hurley.com. There was some ska that I wasn't as mad at it earlier, but I'm over it now. <laughs> um, Pistolita. Let's check these. Ba I'm assuming they're girls. I like the name. It's not girls. I'm not sure why, but I liked what I just saw. So enough to put them on the Hurley.com level. And I like their name. <laughs> Shallow reason, but I like it. Rookie of the Year. This is another one of those ones where it's like, I know I should know it. And I might know it when I put it on, but let's see. <laughs> I feel like this had a lot of, uh, like a lot of people loved them, but eh, I do remember them and I just, they never got me, you know? Um, the Real Mackenzies. I'm, I'm not the target audience. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not. Ernie Ball Stage. My so-called friend, what a name. Oh, it's second to last one. It's Alkaline Trio-esque, but not Alkaline Trio. Um, Ernie Ball. You know what? Because it's second to last, we'll bump you up to Harley.com. No, you know what? Because I'm being honest with myself. Ernie Ball. <laughs> And last, but possibly least, we don't know because I've never heard of this band. Jupiter is useless. <laughs> All right, so these seem like some young kids who made some uh, like pretty fun music. Um, maybe didn't take it much farther than doing a few like Warped Tour dates or something. But uh, it was fun, it seems like it would have been fun live. It wasn't as bad as a lot of the live stuff that I heard. So I, I would maybe put them on the Lucky Sage, but they're not like established enough for that in my opinion. So they are going on the Hurley.com stage. And that is our final band of the Warp Tour 2007 lineup. Wow, I feel like I need coffee. <laughs> I am, whoo, that took it out of me. This is beautiful now that we're done. Can't believe uh, we've made it here. I want to thank everybody who stuck till the end. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my other videos. Uh, a lot of times I talk about aliens. I've done a movie review. I think I want to do more of those in the future. Um, but yeah, let me know if you thought of what you thought of this video. If you want me to go through other years of Warp Tour, I'm happy to do it. This was an experiment. <laughs> this was an experience for sure. I'm tired. I heard a lot of new music, a lot of like 30 seconds of 
uh, a lot of new bands. I mean, old bands, but new to me. So my overall thoughts is I really wish I would have gone to Warped Tour in 2007. Like even just my top tier. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 bands. I will say I saw almost every single one of these bands. I haven't seen Play Radio Play. I haven't seen Escape the Fate. I have not seen Cinematic Sunrise. That's never going to happen now. Um, uh, probably most of these won't happen now. Um, I don't think I've seen the Almost. And I don't think I've seen Hawthorne Heights. So, could have seen all those bands if they were not playing at the same time as each other at Warped Tour in 2007, Mom and Dad. <laughs> no, I'm over it, guys. I'm over it. We, we, we got to make this video because of this. Um, but yeah, I can go through years I actually went to. I can try, try to remember bands I actually saw. Um, I did put a band that I saw a few times on the lowest tier on this list because I am embarrassed about that. Um... Family Force 5. But yeah, this was this was a fun experience and um yeah, I'd do it again. So uh like, subscribe, let me know what you think. I'm Jesse. This is Cloud Shadow TV. Uh if you want to watch the Alien Abduction Support Group videos, go and do that. But uh uh thanks for having here. Um Alan didn't really comment much because he wasn't on Earth yet in 2007. Um so this was all new to him too. But you enjoyed it? Cool. Alright, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, thanks for watching Earthlings. Have a fantastic week. Um, you are a beautiful, lovely soul. Um, you've lived this long since Warped Tour 2007. Maybe you weren't even alive yet, or maybe you were like a baby and you are just like nostalgic for something you weren't even around for. That's possible. Hope you enjoyed going through this with me. Um, yeah, have a great magical week. Peace out, Earthlings.